good morning. Um, I have gotten a lot done this morning. I ended up uh, cleaning out our junk drawer. Honestly, it has now become junk drawers because uh, I realized how quickly three drawers right in a row have kind of like, if the top junk drawer was full, I would just end up throwing it in the next one down. And the next one down had like bibs and there were a ton of bibs in there. And I'm like, okay, we don't really use bibs often now with Felicity. Like we use two different ones that just if she's eating something super messy. Anyway, long story short, revamped those, cleaned those out, recycled so many papers. We do this system where we have a drawer, like a little container in a drawer. And that is where any paper that we're not sure, like we don't want to throw away or get rid of yet, but we don't necessarily need to file it away. We'll keep it in there as our like just in case paper drawer. So every few months, this is what I did this morning, every few months we'll pull it out, go through it all. Gen generally, most of it ends up being shredded or recycled depending on what it is. Um, but it's kind of perfect because there are those times that I'm like, oh, do we do we have that one receipt from whatever? Do we have that bill we got that was already paid online, but I need to see something? It's in there. And it is so, I don't know, that system has totally transformed the paper problem that we all have. So if you've never tried that, give it a try. The just-in-case paper container, drawer, how, wherever you want to put it, it's perfect. Because like I said, then you've got it for peace of mind, but then you end up getting rid of most of it every few months. So it is back to nearly empty again. Um, and that's the other thing I've realized with decluttering and keeping things organized, like obviously it's always a process, it's an ongoing thing, but I've realized when things don't have a home, that's when the issues arise, at least for me. And so having a home for those question mark papers and bills and mail is perfect. That is all. I'll get off my soapbox about it, but that is just something that's totally helped us so much the past few years. So I need to get something to eat for sure. And, uh... Yeah, get the day going. I mean, the day's already been going, but continue on with our day. Also, I was sent some PR, and in the PR, they sent, like, eucalyptus you can hang from your shower. I've never done that. I know that's a thing, but they gave some instructions, and it was like, you wet it for a while, yeah, hot water for 10 seconds, squeeze it, and then hang it. Um, I might do that. That just sounds kind of nice. When I tell you that Sweet Tyler has washed all of the couch cushions, he's almost done with the ones in the basement I'm sure he'll talk about in today's video. He also washed all of the blankets, which I try to do that every two months. Probably should do it more often. I don't know. Some of these blankets don't get used very often, but some of them do. Um, and these are the ones we have like near the couch. So we'll use them. The kids will use them. But he washed them all, which is so nice. So I just wanted to point that out. He's so sweet. And then also, speaking of comfy things, Mr. Man... I missed a Pinocchio boy. <laughs> Said no, no one's here. All right, junk drawer, the essentials. Boy, you should have seen this before. <laughs> that is all. So anyway, feeling very content about that. I need, we need a few more like pens in here. I feel like I never have what I need. We used to have too many and so we cleaned it out and now we don't have enough. So trying to strike that balance, but the things we use all the time, you know, like t weirdly, I feel like we need a tape measure. It's nice to know where it is. Uh, mailing tape for returns and stuff for sure. Notepads. Yeah, this is a very good feeling. So this is our just in case paper container um, type thing. I used to use it years ago, I think in my classroom. But anyway, that works out really, really well. We also have our label daddy stickers for uh, the kids clothes and water bottles and stuff. I have a few bibs back here. That's pretty much that. <sighs> and I'm also making some cream of wheat for everyone. Mm. I, I love this stuff since I was a kid. I just do salt and butter. I was looking on the side here. They have so many different flavors. Most of them sweet, or at least, well, a lot of them sweet. I've never done the sweet route with this, which is interesting because with oatmeal, I like it sweet, but with cream of wheat, I don't know what it is. I just like salt and butter. Well, hello there. It's already like 1.15 and I have not vlogged at all today. I was literally doing stuff that was just so incredibly boring that I was like, I don't even need to vlog this. Now... I know you're probably thinking to yourself, but Tyler, all you do is film yourself doing boring nonsense. Uh, to which I would say you are correct. That is sort of my brand is filming me doing completely boring, nonsensical nonsense. That said, uh, today it was so boring that I'm like, even, even that I can't film. It was like driving, I was like driving around and doing all kinds of stuff. Anywho, 
Not the reason I came on here to tell you. Uh, came on to say that it's like 1.15 and the two o'clock sleepies are actually here a little bit early today. So I am going to make Jessica and myself some French press coffee. So I've got the water over there and our little finger dinger getting up to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. I got my coffee out. I'm gonna grind it up fresh. We're gonna make some French press coffee. All right, we are feeling Christmassy today. Tyler just made that coffee, so we are <laughs> we are caffeinated. Gigi and I are gonna make some of, well, one of my favorite Christmas cookies. I don't think I made these last year. My, well, they're not mine. I will link the recipe. It's, the blog is Sally's Baking Addiction. I'll link her recipe, it's spritz cookies. It's one of my favorites. We've got Elf on as well. Um, it's so easy, but you do have to have, you have to have a spritz cookie maker. These are one of my favorites, so this is like the best uh, purchase ever. Actually, I think it was a gift, if I'm remembering right. This is the OXO one. I've had a few. The OXO one is the best one. So we're, I'm going to show you how easy it is. These are so good. They're like a buttery sugar cookie, but they have this almond flavor to them that is just, there's no like actual almonds there. Well, there's almond extract, but they're so good. You can like, we'll probably decorate them with some sprinkles. You can put some food coloring in to make like red ones, green ones, white ones, whatever you want. They'll, uh, I mean, otherwise they're just white, which is pretty too. So anyway, they're my favorite. I'm really excited. Let's make them. Okay. So this is the recipe. It calls for unsalted butter, sugar, egg, vanilla, and almond extract, flour, salt. And then we usually put sprinkles on top. Um, I did, I'm glad I wrote this down. This makes exactly... Uh, like three full tubes. So if I wanted to do three different colors, I could. Um, so I've got everything out. The egg's not quite room temp, but it, we're on a ticking time because Felicity is napping. Um, anyway, so got some room temp butter. Yeah, I see. All right, you ready to help? All right, we're creaming the butter and sugar together. It only calls for three fourths a cup of butter, or no, three fourths a cup of sugar, which I feel like is lower than I would have expected for this, but these are always really good. So we are on our way to the last step. We're adding in flour little bits at a time. It's so fast. So Gigi and I were just talking about this. We're gonna do a snowflake pattern for uh, the dough for this first round, and then I might put some green Wait, food coloring. Oh, what a great idea. And we might, I think we've got a Christmas tree one we could do if we put green in the dough the next round and make Christmas tree cookies. So very, very cool. This comes with the OXO thing, by the way, if you're curious. Okay, so terrible angle. So you put the dough in and then you literally will just, trying to remember, push this lever down and it squirts the cookie onto it. Let me show you. Okay, I think I'm realizing I have to do it on a silicone mat for it to like actually stay down and stick. Yeah, there we go. How cute. So they're usually really cute and small, but then you can eat like a million of them. <laughs> I kind of low-key wish I could make every cookie with a thing like this. Then you don't have to like form any <laughs> shapes or anything. Exactly one sheet pan, incredible. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bake this. We bake it for seven to nine minutes and we're gonna go ahead and make the like green ones. Okay, we put green food coloring. It totally looks like the Grinch, which is so fun. <laughs> All right, cookies are done. They turned out great. Got our two layers we were talking about. Boy, I put enough red food coloring. Usually they look pink, so they are red. <laughs> Good evening. I feel like I have not vlogged at all today, and that's because I have not vlogged very much today. It's just been one of those days. But, very excited because I'm about to start making dinner. It's super quick and easy, very easy dinner, just spaghetti and meatballs with a little bit of garlic bread, broccoli. One of our favorite meals, very easy. Actually, Jessica is hit or miss on spaghetti and meatballs. I'm a big fan. Um, but, very quick and easy. So, uh, nothing really to talk about. Just gonna do it. But it's gonna be delicious. This is yet another Christmas movie that I have never actually seen, Scrooged, and it's one of those ones that ends up when you look at like 
top Christmas movies. It's always on the top Christmas movie lists. And uh, so I think I'm going to try and watch that tonight while I make dinner. Um, another one I've heard a lot about there, you can see it, if you just see the top of it right there at the bottom, is Candy Cane Lane. It's a new one that just came out this year. I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. So maybe that's one Jessica and I can watch together. Um, but tonight while I'm making dinner, I'm going to turn on Scrooge. I came down, I was getting the girls to sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Tyler, you know, he had gotten dishes done. And I'm like, wait, when did you have time to do the cutting board as well? <laughs> oh my gosh, the amount he will fit into a day is truly astounding. <laughs> and now the exciting conclusion of putting cushion covers back on the sofa. This is going to be the best one so far. <clears throat> in the night haven't we just barely Did i have was... had i have eaten so many cookies today because your mom made chocolate chip cookies the other day oh, i forgot about that i haven't uh <laughs> our neighbor just brought over some cookies and treats so good we made those uh spritz cookies i'm like oh my gosh we still have a lot of thin mints left Mm -hmm. But again, those freeze well. So like we took all those. But I also mm -hmm. still want to, um, if we make like one more, then I want to give some to neighbors like we did last year. I still have the pop-up. You can get like pop-up boxes yeah. on Amazon, like a pack of a million, you know. And they're just like cute and festive, but then you can just throw them away. It's not like the tins because mm -hmm. tins get expensive. And I know yeah. like a lot of people are like, well, I just saved mine from the year before. But people give me, I'm like, I don't get that many tins of cookies to yeah. save. I think only one of our neighbors does that. I've also, though, heard of people going to, like, Goodwill, places yeah. like that, and finding those secondhand. So then they're just I'm like, no, that's smart. That's but probably anyway. the way to do it. If you do the tin route. Yeah, that's like, the way to go. Like, that's probably, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Yeah, today was a weird day. It, was one, it, it wasn't even a weird day. It was one of those days I was just kind of doing stuff around the house and all that. And I'm we like, also I tried to have some nice family time today. In the evening, so it, it was, was really yeah. nice. Yeah. It was really nice to have um, some family time. Yeah, but it was... Yeah, I just kind of, I, I like, half of the day, I'm like, wow, I haven't really filmed very much. And then if here it is. Well, you evening, organized like, a bit in the garage. That, and then, like, I was just driving around this morning, so that wasn't very exciting. You took stuff to a donation center. So, like, I mean, we got a lot done. Stuff done. I yeah. already, did you vlog about doing the, uh, I almost said cork board. What is wrong with me? Cutting board. It's like how, how I can't get go-kart and golf cart correctly. <laughs> I will always say it the wrong way, and I will overthink it and still say it wrong. Cutting board, cork board. You know what I'm bad about that? Did, no, I did not film about that. I okay, put, I well, put, I joked. I walked down, and I'm like, when did you have time to do this? <laughs> I put just, a, like, the booze block oil on the cutting board. Um, when did but, you have time? I don't know. I just did it at some point. <laughs> I, don't know. I was What I was saying yeah. is, I don't know how you fit. Like, you will find a way to fit the most in one day. <laughs> like, I don't know how you do it. Um, the, the thing, by the way, back to what you were saying, where you always get it wrong. The thing mm -hmm. I always do every time. When I am on my phone and I'm trying to go to the calculator, I mm -hmm. always go to the clock. And when I need the clock, I always go to the calculator. And I sit there and I will think about it for three seconds. <laughs> and I still hit the wrong one every time. Every single 100 time. 100% of the time, I hit the wrong one every time. But my win. favorite part of the story is that you sit there for three seconds and think, okay. <laughs> and and I still, still do it wrong. Every time. I don't know what it is about the, the, the little 
icons that they use or something. I, my brain cannot figure out. What What are those things for you? What are the things you always confuse and you never get right? I cannot wait to read all the comments. <laughs> you guys' comments this year have been just top tier. I, you know, randomly will be like, oh, let's check some comments. So we'll read them like in, in the middle of like trying to get stuff done, you know. Anyway, so we're trying to read through them and I will always, there's always a comment in there that will yeah. just make me laugh out loud. Yeah. Stories you guys share. It's just funny. Uh, in the Europe videos that I was doing the other day. My, um, my, my. Europe. Uh, Europe. European. I made a comment at one point about how hopefully by the time these videos go live, I'll have comments again. Because we were joking, this was November of 19. And I said, oh, they probably won't get up until December of 2020. Oh. And I was like, maybe by then I'll have comments back. Well, little did I know it would take me not one year, but four years and two. <laughs> it made me laugh because I'm like, I've had comments for three years now. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, what a world. What a world. Yeah. Um, I also, we, I, well, I was just spending time organizing. I had like all of the kids clothes in bags, like these big, big, like storage bags. And I had those labeled, but I found a bunch of like 18 month clothes that now Felicity won't fit in. That I'd say from Genevieve, I'm yeah. like, this is my problem. I didn't have organized. it actually organized properly. Yeah. They weren't all in the same spot. So now they are all very beautifully organized in my totes. <laughs> um, so that way it's actually useful because I'm yeah. like, I was so mad. So I did pull out. She's got, a, I've got a bunch of like 2T clothes that, 2D. 2D. <laughs> um, 2D, that, 2D. There's the, we have a screensaver of just like personal photos on our screen. It's the birthday cake castle. Mm-hmm. Walt it's Disney's world's, what, 25th anniversary? Mm -hmm. When they turn the castle into a cake? Oh, it's amazing. If you've never seen it... Look it up. Google it. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. People were so mad yeah. when they went there that year, though, because they were wanting the castle, and it was literally a cake. It looks like a giant cake. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, crazy. yeah. I, I could see people being upset, like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? I wanted to get my photo in front of the castle. Is it even edible? <laughs> um, what was I saying, though? Tootie fruity! Yeah, whatever it was, it didn't matter. Just that we got, oh, we've got some cute clothes that were Genevieve's that yeah. will fit Lissy. Some cute, like, Christmassy stuff, too. I'm like, ooh, nick of time. Yeah. I think we're out of things to say. I think so. <laughs> I think it's time for tea in bed. This is another picture. <laughs> Just well, they, can't, up. they can't see it. I know they can't see it, but I'm going to tell the quick story. Uh, it was December of 2015 when we mm -hmm. went to London, and I have some London videos, and... The same night, I had the best and worst martini of my life. We went to this, like, rooftop bar, mm -hmm. and I ordered a martini, and I was like, this is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. It was so amazing. This guy was, like, doing a flare, and it was, like, mm -hmm. definitely knew what he was doing. Then we went to a pub. Do you remember the name of the pub after that? No, but it was, like, a really historic pub. The right. pub itself was really, really cool. Yeah. You, however, made the mistake of not getting, like, a beer there. Right. You got At a martini. At the time, I didn't like beer. And so I just was like, well, I'll order a martini. I was like, I'm sure they have yeah. all the stuff for it, right? And they said, I ordered it, and I'm you know, young and dumb. And they said, do you want it dry? And I was like, yeah. And then she brought over and just, like, a cup, like a normal glass cup with a little bit of vermouth at the bottom. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and what and is a martini, actually? It's like... Gin, vermouth. Well, depends on who you ask. Well, if, you, okay. if you talk to Winston Churchill, he says the best way to have a martini is by drinking gin and looking at a bottle of vermouth. <laughs> not asking so. Winston Churchill. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other story for a different day. Um, so yeah, it should be gin with just a little tiny bit of vermouth. That's the way. Yours it was just vermouth it was in a just hot glass, vermouth by in the a way. a hot glass straight out it. of the dishwasher. <laughs> that's my favorite part. But it's just like this big cup, hot. <laughs> I could barely touch it. I'm like, ow. And then I went back up and I was like, I don't, this isn't really what I was looking for. She said, well, I asked if you wanted it dry. <laughs> this is too like, yeah, dry, question mark? I guess. Anyway, so lesson learned there. Look at baby Pinocchio at our apartment. Lesson learned. Don't go to a pub and order a martini. That was on me. That was that my was own you. fault. <laughs> You've never made that mistake again. No, I am not. And it did make for a great story. So I'm really <laughs> glad you did it. Anyway. All right. Um, okay. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. On the flippity flop. Yeah, sorry, I'm like looking. I think Lissy's stirring. Oh. Anyway, love All you right. guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't tell. We're doing a cereal day. Ooh, special cake.